Well, hello everybody. Today I woke up and I was just kind of lounging around, started editing my video, and I got knocked on the door and I thought, who could this be? It was the UPS man. He brought our taco warehouse order. It's finally here after a couple weeks. I'm excited to show you what I got in here. I picked up some really neat things. Uh, taco Warehouse is in the States, for some of you who don't know. They sell taco, you know, a little bit of everything, man. There is such an expansive, you know, collection of stuff there. And me, my little cousin, and a friend all got in the order together to save shipping. And I picked up some interesting things that I don't see around here that I'm excited to try out. So we're gonna get into that. Before we do, I do wanna show you guys some, some different things I've picked up, you know, just out and about around town. Uh, I got some Great Lakes Finesse stuff, some Guggen Bait stuff, so we'll get into that quickly and then we'll dive into my Tackle Warehouse order. So we have here the Guggen Squad Buzz Bait and Spinner Bait. Um, buzz Bait is a bait that I haven't thrown. I don't even own a Buzz Bait. However, I'm kind of taking some trips up onto some bigger water. You know, I'm going to be fishing the French River soon. And so, top water, something that I don't often throw, I'll be throwing. You know, we're going to be camping, so I'll be hitting that really early morning bite. and you know, should hopefully finally get a top water blow up and you know, something very exciting. I decided why not get, you know, a pretty standard moving bait. Guggen baits are, you know, I've never actually owned any of them. Uh, they're soft plastics I've heard can be a little bit, you know, not that durable. Um, but, you know, I know guys who throw the jigs and everything, they never have any problems. It's pretty standard. I guess they say they use Mustad hooks, so Mustad's okay. I decided to check them out. They were cheap, they're at the dollar store. Decided to pick some up. Can never have enough spinner baits. Spinner bait is one I don't throw enough. I don't throw enough bladed baits. Um, I, when it's windy, you know, that's when you're supposed to throw them. And I never catch fish in the wind, and that's because I don't throw them. I'm still throwing my jigs that I throw when it's not windy. And, you know, I guess maybe when you get that chop on the water, the fish kind of stop biting those smaller presentations because I haven't been able to figure out fish in the wind. And, I think it has a lot to do, like I said, with my inability to use these bladed baits. So now let's talk about some Great Lakes finesse stuff. I see this stuff everywhere right now, man. They're all over TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, they're in all sorts of stores around here in Southern Ontario. And guys crush the Great Lakes smallmouth bass and panfish and perch and all that on these. So I wanted to finally pick them up. A little bit expensive. I mean, these flat cats are 2.2 inch. Just a standard little kind of finesse minnow style of bait like ten dollars for these is a little bit much in my opinion but i decided to give them a try this is supposed to be like an imitation of a catfish kind of thing like a baby catfish i think it looks a lot like a goby which is good for me as you know smallmouth bass around here just they crush gobies they love them i mean they feast on them so why not imitate them um you know very standard bait just got that little kind of ball and tail that gets lots of action. I'll be throwing this on like a Ned jig and I think it'll do okay. This is in the uh, green pumpkin purple flake color. Pretty nice looking color. I love my green pumpkin. So yeah, this is good. I like that and I'm gonna be throwing that. I also have here the uh, snack craw, 2.1 inch bait. This is in black, blue, flake, flat, flat, black, and blue. So it's like a flat black. I like that color a lot. Big, huge appendages on that craw there. That flat back color looks great. Um, yeah, $8.99, 2.1 inch snack craw. This will be used on a net for me for sure. Really nice little finesse bait. I'll be happy to have this in my arsenal to throw on any given day. I think it'll do well. Pick these up half off at Grimsby Tackle. This is the Rage Tail Raging Bug. Uh, you know, it's a Ned bait. I can never have enough Ned baits. I throw the Ned so often, as you'll see in our video, or as you saw in the videos, I believe it's going up before this one, you know, bass season opened, and what got the job done? Nothing but the Ned. So, I'll be throwing the Ned all the time, year round. Can never have enough Ned baits. These are half off. Had to get them on a discount. It's a pretty neat looking little kind of craw, bug style bait, and uh, should work really well. So now we'll get into the Tackle Warehouse order, and I'll touch on the stuff that my little cousin purchased. You know, he fishes a lot of bigger water, a lot of bigger lakes. He fishes from a boat. Very different style of fishing to me. So these baits are something that I really don't throw that often. He purchased here the Rattle Trap. This is a blue with kind of silver on the other side there. Pretty nice, interesting little lipless crank. You know, a very standard bait that I'm sure a lot of you guys are super familiar with. And uh, I think you'll have fun using that. We'll be sure to catch fish. He also got here the Chrome Lucky Strike. I believe that is just a lipless crank. Uh, pretty nice looking color on there with the red eye and that should be a fish catching machine for him as well 
he went and got the KVD extra deep crank. So like I say, this is something I'll almost never throw, but as he's fishing these bigger waters, he's kind of starting to hone in on what works and what doesn't. And he loves these kind of deep diving big baits. This is, uh, uh, I don't know what the size is on here, but you know, it's a nice looking crankbait. Dives 19 feet and deeper, so it'll be good to have in his arsenal. He's also got here the Rapala Shadow Wrap. That's a very nice jerk bait. I love the color on this. It's that silver and then the bottom of it's clear and it's kind of got like a blue, you know, in the inside there. That's a very nice looking color. We've talked about it and he's mentioned like, the colors for him that work the best are the silver, blue, and white. Uh, you know, obviously mimicking shad minnows, that sort of thing. And he'll just crush everything, walleye, pike, bass. They all hit the same baits, so. Yeah, he loves throwing that white and you know, those lighter colors. Now, when I was putting together this order, I was thinking about one thing, and that was jig fishing. Jig fishing is something I don't do. I haven't really ever done, but I think this is the year I'm really going to get into it. I found some really nice finesse jigs, some nice swim jigs, and I'm ready to go, you know, gung-ho on this whole jig thing. So, I had to pick up some stuff that I can use as trailer. So, this here is the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver. I believe it's a 4.2 inch. I think that's what the 420 is uh, in the tramp stamp color. Tramp stamp color is like a green pumpkin, black and blue, kind of half and half thing. Very neat looking color, I like that. You know, you get that green pumpkin obviously. And then, you know, some of them are a little bit lighter than others. This one has a little bit of black and blue on it on the one side, but kind of like a darker green pumpkin is what I would say. Very nice looking little, uh, you know, creature bait. I like the appendages on it, and I think it'll be nice to throw. I always see uh, Debo from Debo's Fish, and he's always talking about the reaction innovation stuff. And so I thought, why not when I have the chance, pick some up and see how it works. This is a bait that I'm really excited for. I have no familiarity with the brand Reigns. Uh, it obviously looks like a Japanese brand. Um, however, this is the four inch rock vibe shad in green pumpkin. And this looks a lot like a bait that I love, the mule donkey tail. Donkey tail is like a 2.9 inch bait, so this is a little bit bigger. It's kind of what I've always wanted. I love that, that, that like silhouette of just the long, thin swim bait with a large paddle tail on it. Paddle tails on these don't look that like big and kind of because you know on the the regular size donkey tail the paddle tail is you know a pretty large part of the bait it, it gets a lot of action i don't know if these will get just as much action but they should be pretty good still so it's a four inch bait very long slender you know it tapers down to that tail i think this will do really good on jigs pretty much all year round uh the donkey tail obviously so versatile wanted to get it bigger so i can hopefully get fishing on bigger water and catch bigger fish so I also got here the Missile Baits. Uh, this is the Mini D Chunk in the Super Bug color. Pretty standard kind of chunk trailer. Um, you know, this is a classic, you know, what is it? The, the, the Uncle Frank or Uncle, I don't remember, the Uncle Josh's pork rinds, I think they were. Um, and you know, that was that sort of chunk style of trailer that people would throw them on jigs and whatever the else. Way, way back a long time ago, of course, long before I fished. However, it's still popular today, that kind of style of bait. So. You know, you just got that chunk body that you throw on, and these ones have really nice appendages on them. Something that I've never thrown before, but this is gonna look really nice on like a finesse jig, of course, and that is what I picked up. This here is the Dirty Jig 3 8 ounce black and blue uh, jig. You know, standard football jig. I'll bust into it here, and I'll show you guys what it looks like with this trailer on, because this is the one pairing that I think just out of the box will be very nice. I don't know if you can see that, but that's almost like a wide gap kind of hook. Not what I was expecting on there. That's an interesting, you know, style of hook there. Very standard football head jig. You know, it's black and blue. Very, very standard bait. So there you go. I might trim that skirt down just a little bit. I don't know kind of what about, I know a lot of guys, you know, they mentioned trimming down skirts on jigs, kind of trying to expose that, that soft plastic and get that more of the action. You know, the skirt is a little bit long on a lot of them, I guess. I wouldn't know exactly where to start. I might look more into that, of course, but that looks really nice. You know, in the water, those appendages are gonna be flopping up and doing lots of action. That's kind of the perfect size for it there. And I've just, you know, put that on the hook. I haven't even put it all the way up as there is a pretty big bait keeper kind of looking thing there, but that's a very nice setup. I'm excited to throw that. I think that'll do really well. So as you know, I love throwing my micro jigs. I found these, these are from Missile. It's the Ike's micro jig. It's a very small finesse little jig here. It's a number one jig hook, you know, a custom skirt they say. Uh, 116 ounce, should be a very nice size. 
you know, I mentioned before how I throw these these mule jigs and you know just these small little finesse swim baits, and I want more of a bigger presentation. I want the skirt on there, so I thought I'd give these a try. So open these up, and we'll crack into them. So on a closer look, you know, they have this uh, really large bait keeper on there. I don't love that. Like, it takes up most of the hook. It's so big. I mean, when you're working with these really small hooks and really small jigs, you have small plastics. I can see that tearing plastics up a little more than I would want. But I'm going to rig something up on here and show you what it looks like because this is pretty nice. So it does come with separate weed guards there. I won't use mine though. You know, you can just glue that in. It's pretty straightforward. But I wouldn't really even bother using one. These are so small and where I'm going to swim these and throw these. I'm not that worried about them getting that hung up on weeds, um, that a weed guard really feels necessary. Uh, I totally rigged that wrong. But uh, yeah, this is the donkey tail on there. I had to cut it down just like I did with my Midwest Finesse jig in my last video. But I like that, man. That's a nice little presentation, even lighter than the Midwest Finesse one. One sixteen ounce will be very nice and light, and that'll be fun. Very fun to throw kind of on those hot days. You know, this is the kind of bait that, like, for example, when you can't get bites on the moving baits, you want something that you can kind of just drop down right in front of those fish and get that reaction bite. And this is kind of the perfect bait for it. You're going to get that, you know, that paddle tail action as it falls, but it's not going to fall too fast, right? You like that 116 ounce so you can get that slow fall and keep it right in front of that fish for as long as you want. And uh, I'll be excited to be throwing this soon. So I have a couple more things that I want to take a look at. This here is the Brian Schmidt Ned Dread. So I have it in the black and blue and the green pumpkin. This is a very, very small, light finesse net. It's a 332nd ounce, which is exactly what I want for size. I love the hook on there just from looking at it. And uh, what makes these interesting is it's like a hand-tied kind of jig. So you have a long skirt on there and you have these feathers, almost like a hair jig, of course. Wow, that's really quality. Um, so. You know, standard net, you're gonna drag it along the bottom, and as you're dragging it, this skirt and these feathers are gonna provide just a little bit more action. This might be like, I'm really impressed with these. Just the, the, the craftsmanship and the quality is very high. Very nice light wire hook, which is exactly what I was looking for. And unfortunately, I only got a couple of them. Hopefully I don't lose them. Um, this will be very fun to throw. I like that. That's exactly what I was looking for, you know, with those 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 little skirt pieces not a lot not too much bulk on there just enough to get a little more action out of your baits and I'm saving the main for last these are the tightrope firework jigs uh, I have them in a multiple different colors I got them in the green, green pumpkin blue I got them in summer craw and PBJ and a chartreuse green pumpkin as well uh, this is an awesome looking jig it's a very very small finesse jig you know a quarter ounce jig and it's got the tied on skirt there so these are made, I guess, by a couple guys in Chicago, right? It's very big for the Chicago anglers. And the Chicago anglers are catching smallmouth bass in rocky shores and very high pressure environments, which is actually pretty similar to what I fish. Um, and these guys invented this bait here. So it's got the skirt like any other finesse jig, but as you see, that skirt really puffs out. Nice, small, little round ball head jig. That hook isn't too big, like I was a little worried. Light, light, light weed guard on that hook there. Fish will have no problem pinching that down. And so as you're throwing it, that, that uh, skirt is just gonna puff right out. And that's nice because not only does it give you know a nice kind of uh, a profile that's not too long, it's, it's, it's just nice big profile on a small jig, that skirt keeps it up. So, you know, as it's going on the rocks, it stands up. This skirt that spreads out keeps it out from getting in between rocks and getting snagged up. So that is interesting, a nice little bait. I just love the way that skirt looks. I'll throw that, I'll show you what I'll throw on this right now. I hate how not straight I rigged that, but look, that is the raging bug Ned kind of making a comeback in this video. Um, that on this looks really nice. Like I said, not straight at all. I would re-rig that, but just for demonstration purposes, that's the kind of bait I'd be throwing on this. So that is all. It's not a huge bulk order, but there's lots of variance in what I'm picking up and throwing. I want to have just a little bit of everything when I'm out on the water. And I think with this order in, I should be fully covered now. Um, I, just, I love buying tackle. I don't know what to say. I love searching for it online. I love going to different tackle shops, and I'm excited to throw all this stuff as I've said probably a hundred times in this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, dislike if you did dislike the video. Thank you for watching and tight lines everyone. Mm -hmm.